Celine Dion walked out onto that Grammy stage in a surprise appearance to present the final award of the night, Album of the Year, an award that she has won herself. The crowd appropriately rose to their feet. As you saw, Taylor Swift looked overjoyed to see Celine, but she did fail at mouthing the words to Celine's hit, The Power of Love. And you are... And you are... And Taylor went with words that were not to my man <laughs> before the camera cut to Olivia Rodrigo. Thank you all. I love you right back. <laughs> yeah, the love was shared and passed back and forth. And the Grammy goes to... Who? But viewers did not love Taylor's surely unfortunate ignorance of Celine. Taylor Swift. After Celine announced Taylor as the winner of the category Album of the Year, which meant that Taylor had broken a record in that category by winning it for a fourth time, Taylor walked up on stage with some of the collaborators that she worked with on Midnight's, and then she met some of the other collaborators from Midnight's who had made it onto the stage first. Then when Taylor's finally ready to move towards the mic and actually accept the Grammy, Taylor's head keeps turned away from Celine as she looks back at her team and manages to take the Grammy from Celine without actually looking at Celine and then looks to the Grammy and then out into the audience. And yeah, there's no even real eye contact between Taylor and Celine. And people are pissed. Like, I'm kind of doing stories in batches here, so I'm kind of doing three, like, put them all together, going to edit them all, post them, then I'll do the next three. But as I've been going through, I've been grabbing stuff from Instagram and photos and stuff like that, and I'm seeing the comments. And this is not just people, you know, commenting on a Taylor photo or commenting on a Celine photo. It's on all <laughs> of the Grammy stuff. People are commenting like crazy how, how disrespectful they found Taylor was towards Celine. No! Now, media organizations are being sure to put out this photo of Celine and Taylor backstage. People Magazine's tweet about this photo says, Taylor Swift and Celine Dion shut down fan uproar, embraced backstage. I mean, it would have been, they're just standing there, the photographer's like, hey, you two, stand together so I can get a picture. Boom. Like, I mean, and they do that all the time backstage. Thank you so much. It's not like it's some grand statement about their relationship just because they posed together for a photo and smiled. I'm not saying Celine Dion is upset. Don't know. I'm not putting words in her mouth. But I'm just saying that to, um, yeah, label us as, you know, oh, this photo shuts down that any wrongdoing occurred is inappropriate. Look, it's a very overwhelming moment, absolutely, to, um, yeah, to know you just broke an all-time record. You're accepting the album of the year Grammy. It's going to be an overwhelming moment. It's so unfortunate the way that situation goes. It's just like, yeah, she's looking back. It does dumb dumbfound me um, that Taylor didn't register Celine Dion, but I mean... I don't know how you'd be thinking that in that moment. Yeah, people talk about how when they win the award like that, and yeah, you're walking up the stage, it's all a dream. You don't remember anything that happened. It all, it all just disappears. So, um, no, I don't think Taylor did that on purpose. Um, yeah, I think it's unfortunate. I th I'm sure she feels terrible now. I hope she contacts Celine and says, like, look, yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah, it just wasn't in my own head on that moment. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Taylor? Really, yeah, not even acknowledging Celine at all. I don't know, man. Um as she accepted the Album of the Year Grammy for the fourth time. Mind blown. Thank you so much.